All right, we're live. I wonder if like it'll come up or just turn up on my thing. Maybe it won't because I'm not subscribed to our, our channel. Wait, you're not subscribed to our channel? I don't watch our videos. <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean, obviously I watch our videos when we like make them. I watch them on our computers, but I don't watch them on YouTube. <laughs> That's still so funny to me. <laughs> That's still what? so funny to me. Me subscribing to our own channel would actually be more harmful than not, so. Hmm. You know hey, I mean? we've got our first person. Teriana, what's up? Oh, hold up. I just realized that I'm looking at... There it is. My bad. <laughs> I should yeah, turn off the... you mute that thing. <laughs> no, I know. I know. Yeah, okay. I'm saying... Yeah, I can totally get the, the comments just, like, signing into the stream on my phone. That yeah. works. Oh, yeah. nice. I already got a first like. You know what? Speaking of which, hey, guys... Hold on. We'll do the Hi, we'll, do, we'll do the pro, we'll do the intro bit. Hold on. What? Oh, you're gonna roll it? Yeah, hold on. Just <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Hey buds, how's it going? If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Take a seat. Hold on, hold up. You want me to say a joke? I didn't write a joke. Ah oh, man. Totally what unprepared. Complete <laughs> unprofessionalism right here. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Just do the worst Sam Steph thing. <laughs> And if you're coming back, Steph, tell me to fucking write a joke next time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome back to another live stream. <laughs> you with Sam. Steph. we the movie buds. buds. I'm so out of sync. Nice. <laughs> Seamless. It's so hard to get it, like, in time this way. I think that was pretty good. Nah, dude, it was bad. <laughs> It's better than when we've tried recording for the actual videos. Yeah, but we can edit those. True. <laughs> no one knows that we're out of time. No one, no one knows. Oh, speaking of which. All right, hang on. Quickly, we're going through. A lot of people turning up already. Hey, Rebecca. What's up, Rebecca? How are you doing? Oh, she's, yeah, it's sleep time for Rebecca. Okay, yeah, she's, that makes sense. Uh, Have a good sleep, Rebecca. Oh, yeah, she's having a... Ah, I see. Seems like a like a normal sleep time for someone in England, so Yeah. Where the weird looks yeah. <laughs> I mean it's we're not in England. Yeah. Unprofessional. Thanks, Dinky Russell. Appreciate you. Well no, where are you? You're way back. What? Where am I? What do you mean what are you talking about? In the comments. Oh, I'm not in the comments. What are you talking about? I'm not commenting. No, no, you're not commenting. You're talking. You're reading them. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm I'm a little I'm trying to get up to date. Uh, we're all doing good, by the way. We're doing pretty yeah. solid, I would say. Steph's pretty Dude. tired. Yeah, I, um, I, I mean, I just had a tea, so yeah, not too bad. But yeah. you know, like realistically, but, when was the last time we did a live stream where one of us wasn't wrecked? I mean, it's it's kind of a tradition here. Yeah. Be sleep deprived much. when we do lives. <laughs> Hey, Jenna Peach has mm. turned up. What's up, Jenna? Nice, Jenna. I I feel I feel that that exactly myself too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. Um, hey, Rebecca. <laughs> Watching with my cat. Sick. I hope Aww. your cat likes it. <clears throat> Aww. Yeah. E. Um. So quickly, seeing as we're relatively at the start, and we do have a decent amount of people here already let you guys know um we will be going through some questions and comments like normal but we're also going to do a bit of just getting you guys up to date with what's happening yeah. with the channel where we're at how we're making things happen all that kind of thing that's a big changes coming all the plans yeah so we're in a bit of a transition phase right now as you might be able to tell from the um Definitely slower upload schedule. Yeah. Um, just for Camp Rock, Lemonade Mouth, and the next move we're doing right now, we're editing Brave, by the way. Yeah. Um, the Pixar one. We're, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're literally, it's just been like a lot of transitional problems of like, oh, this won't sync, or this file won't send, and oh, this yeah. is taking 12 hours for some fucking reason. To, to freaking upload, or to just straight up will not work from my phone to upload the video directly, so... I have to send it to my laptop first and then move from there. It takes it way longer. All sorts of stupid yeah. shit. Just little things that like, we just have to wait for. Yeah. <laughs> Been a bit of a problem. Um, obviously, we're working on all of these things. Hmm. We're figuring it out. We're getting, 
We're getting better, faster, stronger. Mm. You know. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and just so everyone knows, we are okay. So I realized that because Sydney's in lockdown, a lot of people didn't realize we we're in lockdown and shit. Like, mm. some people might be worried. Like, holy fuck, haven't seen them in ages. I hope they're all mm. right. I hope they didn't, you know, get the Rona. We're all good. We are. We are fine. We are safe. Just, uh, yeah, shit's been a bit. Shit's been a bit difficult. <laughs> Yeah, um, I was just reading through the comments while you were saying that stuff. Yeah. Um, oh, people cool, people keen for Brave. Okay, that's good. That's good. I mean, I figured they would be. It's a good movie. Reavers here for the first time. Nice. Cool. Good times. Um, so with what's happening, that's basically what's been happening with the most recent videos and kind of why they've been a bit slower. But it's also because we're, I guess, trying to upgrade our game all in all. Yeah. Uh, we got second laptop so that we can both edit, um, oh, like, oh. not necessarily at the same time, but... Dude, Sarah, oh, shit. Sarah we were... gave us a, a yeah, super chat. 100, 140 Canadian is a lot of money. Wait, wasn't it? Us. Wasn't it? No, wasn't it 14? Oh, shit. Sarah, what the hell? <laughs> 139.99. Dude. That's $140 I thought Canadian. That was that's like 13.99. Come on. That's like $200. <laughs> Dude. We love you, Sarah. That's an amazing amount of money. Like, but I also know... We love you, dude, but please don't go broke for this. <laughs> that. That part. But don't you know go. what? You you gave a fuck ton of money, so I'm, I'm going to give you the honorary air horn for that. Oh, you did. There you go. Yeah. You that, earned that's... that. <laughs> <laughs> it's still so inadequate now. I am, I am so... I'm so excited for this for this shit it's the air horn yeah just loving the horn oh yeah Thank god yeah so it's cool i mean i'm gonna talk to sarah later so we'll, we'll discuss this <laughs> i appreciate you though sarah i really yeah. do it's no we really do appreciate it we're very grateful we're not mad or anything just no just no concerned. i mean i hope no <laughs> thinks that we're mad for people doing <laughs> obviously we're not mad we're very happy. It's yeah. just, well, that's overwhelming. What, are you trying to show us up? <laughs> you think you're better than me? You're trying to say I'm poor? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... No. Actually, yeah. you know what? Not really anymore. We're, get, we're getting out of the poorness situation, so that's good. Yeah. Fucking started from the bottom. Now we're here. We got air horn money now. That's right. We could afford <laughs> an air horn that was technically free, but that doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, this, this subscription is not going to be free. Oh yeah. That was another thing. We're using like mm. a, a free freaking trial of mm. a program. You probably can see the watermark ecam. Uh, so this stream, because there's a set amount of time that I can actually have Sam on this thing. An uh, hour and 45, I think this is going to, yeah, we've got 87 minutes left of interview trial time. So this is going to be a, a quite a shorter, uh, Short session. Stream. Yeah, this is us figuring it out. And again, like just giving you guys a bit more updates and info and all that kind of stuff on what's happening. Yeah. Um, so with the second channel, what it means is that we can both edit at the same time. Now, we can't edit the same prime because, you know, like that would just be a waste. I'd save a file and he'd get old information sort of thing. Yeah. But we can work on different projects at the same time. So right now, we're just trying to get ourselves back up to speed and get to slightly more regular posting but after that once we figure out our rhythm and we've figured out how to make things work in this co-stream sense where we're not actually in the same room ever anymore apparently um okay. we're gonna start doing a second channel pretty soon it's not gonna be the tv channel like originally discussed just because we thought about it on a personal level, we, we feel like the tv channel would be more of a personal channel, something yeah. fun that we would like to do, but would take a lot of money, sorry, a lot of time and wouldn't really make much money. Yeah. And while money is not my first thing, I definitely want to do creative projects that I just want to do and same for Steph. We also do need to think about, you know, obviously rent and food and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. we will be trying to start the second channel pretty soon. Um, basically the, the other videos are going to be like big, a bit more general commentary. Um, and just shorter videos, something that's a little bit smaller, more bite-sized, a little bit easier for us to work on in the spare moments. Mostly us dunking on TikTok, probably. <laughs> well, yeah, TikTok, but also, hang on, we got a new member. Oh, we do? Reva. Yeah. 
Oh, fuck yeah. Thank you. Welcome to the channel, Revo. You we sick one. You know what? For, for new members, for new members, yeah, I'll put on the title at least. Oh, okay. Nice. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> A shared cloud. We're, we're definitely using shared cloud services. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, we got uh, yeah. we got Google Drive. Just sometimes it's a bit of a bitch. I don't know why, but just when I try to upload from my phone to Google Drive, half the time it works fine, but the other half of the time it'll just conk out halfway through uploading, and because it's like an hour long mm. video file, it's like that's like that's like four hours of waiting just yeah. down the drain. Now you're gonna start all over again. So like yeah. much more reliable ways to transfer it directly into the laptop and then send it up from there. Mm. Yeah, so we're figuring all these things out, obviously getting there and hopefully once we get there, we'll be able to smoothly run this channel at the same pace that we have been up until recently. Yeah. And then also have the second channel videos. And yeah, there's a possibility that we might consider hiring a third person to help editing in the future. I mean, possibly. Uh, yet, but Just it's a possibility. Don't see it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely not like a definite. Nobody's sending resumes or anything. Yeah, no, no, like, calm down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but it's a possibility. Um, and also, like, yeah, Ooh. channel for the for general commentary kind of stuff. And then we're also thinking of a third channel to do pretty much these, to do live streams on. Um, we're essentially going to stop doing them on, you know, the yeah. main channel. And we'll and start... We had this idea a while back if anybody... Yeah, maybe we have we're, we're finally following up on it. <laughs> yeah, well, See, yeah, the reason is we need a thousand subscribers on the new channel before we can even start streaming there. For it yeah, to, so for it to be a live streaming people, uh, a live streaming channel, we need a certain amount of like audience faith to begin with. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we, I thought we would just sort of get ourselves to that point where yeah. we can get a thousand people on a channel that's not had a video yet. Yeah, we'll start. We'll, we'll we're gonna try and pull a D'Angelo. Uh, you know. Mm get a certain number of subs on the channel before it's even gone live. But yeah, mm. uh, we'll essentially use that just to host the live streams, just because just because we noticed that it uh, our video list was looking like a bit cluttered with all the previous live streams in there. And additionally, these live streams are going to be a little bit different. So these ones are very like free-flowing. We're just kind of talking shit with you guys. We're going to have a more structure. Uh, that, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's all fun. But these ones are going to have yeah, a little bit more structure. We're going to like cover specific topics have mm. like time markers and stuff for certain talking points. It'll be a little bit more like a radio show if you're old enough to remember what that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one second. Have a good one mental break as she's leaving to go do some art. So oh, I saw that. All right. Catch you later. Yeah, yeah. Um, continue. Mm. So you, um, yeah. yeah, like we were discussing essentially setting up the live a little bit more like a radio show where we still have fan interaction. We're still talking to you guys, uh, reading your comments and stuff here and there, but we'll also have specific sections, like mm. a specific section to talk about like upcoming or just current sort of news around movies and TV shows. And then maybe a small section where we can do interviews because we've wanted to be yeah. collabing with some of our friends for a while. Like I wanted to have Zavid on the live stream, uh, Sophie Zavid, uh, Steph, Billy doing collabs and stuff, but it's really fucking difficult to make it work, you especially with because step, we're already two. Steph Leone, just specify. Yeah. <laughs> two oh, steps. Yeah. For anyone who's unclear, <laughs> Steph Leone. Yeah. yeah. Two steps. <laughs> yeah. Um. Mm. Hell yeah. Tori gave us a super chat. Okay, yeah, that's. Oh, all. thanks, Tori. You know what Much that means? <laughs> Sound time. <laughs> Hey, hey Tori. Uh, <laughs> she wants you to do a smoke trick. What now? No, I can't do a smoke trick here. Do a flip! I mean, I guess I could, but <laughs> I have an Instagram for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know, uh, you know what? Seeing as somebody asked me about the whole vape tricks thing oh. while we're here, I do need to point out that, that I stopped doing them because I hate doing them in this apartment. It's too windy, and oh. it takes me like half an hour to get the air clear enough to just do a trick. Hold on. It's fucking annoying. Alina also gave us a super chat. Thank that, you yeah. so much. We will keep doing what we're doing, and it's all good. If you're broke, you are in high school. That's totally normal. It's all good, um, man. Yeah, if you're young and poor, you know, no, no don't obligation. Donate or just keep the donation small. Yeah. <laughs> small donations are good. But, That's actually why we set the members at two dollars. It's like we don't want anyone breaking the bank. Yeah, we, we don't want anyone to even just feel obligated to give mm. us money. Like, 
Yeah. That's what AdSense is for. <laughs> like, I would love to have a large group of people supporting us for with a little bit of money rather than a few people giving a lot. Because I don't know. I mean, like, I know some people can afford to give a lot, but it's, I just don't want. No, that. it's it's that dead. It's the dedicated hunt. Like, it's the de- it's the dedicated, dedicated hundred thousand as opposed to dedicated one. Holy shit! Hold on, hmm. DJ Horn for Carolina. <laughs> Motherfucker, and you now got another one. And one more for Christine. <laughs> yeah. I'm just happy. I'm having a great time with this. Just so you know. I'm sure you are. Hold Catch up. So Christine is live. saying, "Yeah, you read it." Go Catch ahead. my first live. Hell yes, love and basketball reviews. My fave one. Sam, are there any other basketball-based movies you enjoy? Happy to hear about the new updates. Adore you both. Thanks oh sure. So many basketball-based movies. The Sixth Man was always fun. That's a Marlon Wayans comedy where he. Um, dies and like comes back to help his buddy as a ghost. That's <laughs> fucking sick. <laughs> oh, that sounds that sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. Um, there's a movie called I think it's called Above the Rim that had Tupac in it back in the day. Also had Marlon Wayne's great movie. Damn. Um, who? What else is there? Soul in the Hole I think is actually a documentary from what I remember. But I remember that being good. Oh, Sarah, thanks for answering <laughs> questions. I just saw somebody ask like, yeah, why oh, our look. girlfriends don't come on. Oh shit! You, uh, one, one, you, you, you continue. I just gotta. Yeah, yeah, my sister just came home, so. Ah, so. They, yeah, uh, they um, yeah, they don't want to. Yeah, just what Sarah said. They don't really want to come on. Hazel is actually like asleep right now because we both have had absolutely messed up sleep schedules of like staying up to like five, six a.m. So yeah, she's uh she's uh, not gonna come on, and Sam's. Uh, Mrs. is in the Ukraine, so that would be difficult. <laughs> oh shit, Zavid! What's up, man? Oh, super chat! And Perez won. Dollar nine, thank you so much. The in laws. I've got that on our list. That is on our list. I can confirm. Thank you so much. DJ Airhorn for you. <laughs> Boys of a list. Yeah. Also, yeah, if you guys want to. Ah, oh, fucking socials. I'm a silly bastard. Yeah, I'll um, I'll throw up our, Drop. I'll throw up our Discord details so you guys can see the movie list that we've got. Oh yeah, if anyone wants to see the movie list, there, um, cool. But yeah, that, that's another thing to keep in mind, guys. We we don't really take movie suggestions. Um, I mean, not, we do and we don't. Not on here. It's kind of like if there's time, if this chat has slowed down a bit and I see it, I'm like, oh, yeah, cool. Oh, sure. I'll take note yeah. of that. But most yeah, of the time, not really. I'm not. That's not what we're here for. Yeah. If we're taking movie suggestions and stuff in the comments here, this entire stream is just going to be yes, no, no yes, yes, no. no. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, After I celebrates five months of membership. <laughs> nice. Appreciate it. Justine likes my hat. Thank you. I like it too. It's a good hat. Yeah. Got the shit online. I got David is the crossover I didn't know I needed. <laughs> oh, speaking of basketball movies, I almost forgot. Fucking, um, He Got Game is probably the most classic basketball movie of all time. There's definitely some, like, it's rough. It's kind of dark, but it's a great movie. And um, Ray Allen, in his only acting role in his entire career, did a fucking fantastic job as Jesus Shuttlesworth to the point where he still, people still call him Jesus. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. They're like, Hey, Shuttlesworth. <laughs> like fucking all right. What's up Jesus? You know, it's been like 40 years since he did that movie and he's not an actor. <laughs> but, I mean, that's kind of why I feel like they, they blur the lines between Real and the basketball player and Jesus Shuttlesworth, the character. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, how many movies are on the list? So fucking many. Like a hundred? Oh, so yeah, like more. a bunch. Like too many. I did not bother to count them. Yeah. And I think uh, another thing that, again, most new members probably don't know is just that, like, if it's female led or at least female oriented, it's on the list. Like, it, it's going to be done sooner or later. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Um, it's like someone said recently, you know, you should do all the Cinderella story movies. I'm like, dude, every Cinderella version of everything is on the list. He's like, no, specifically the Cinderella story movies. I'm like, I said every Cinderella, just everything. Yeah. If it's remotely Cinderella related, it'll probably end up on the channel at some point. Come on. How the hell won't that go away? Oh, right. Finish. 
Mm, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh. Sam G, the therapist. How you doing? I will talk to you later, yeah. Sorry, just trying to figure just trying to fix up something on here. You're all good. Just trying to get up to date on um these comments because I don't know where I am. Hang on. <laughs> Catch up. Um, white men can't jump. I can't believe I forgot white men can't jump, but I almost feel like that's a movie that you don't have to say because it's the basketball movie. Oh, fair enough. Like Woody Harrelson and Wesley Snipes. Oh my god, such a classic. Oh shit. Okay, that sounds yes. that sounds great. <laughs> Bro, it's it's yeah, it's a movie that has to be seen for sure. Are you both I'm Cinderella good. fans, man? Which one? Yeah, that's a very nuanced question. That's you know super general. I just watched a commentary on the most recent Cinderella that came out. It's um, choices were made. Just I'll just say. Yeah, um, I haven't seen much of what was going on there. I oh, David's here. I, has David been here the whole yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, David. David, I think you like literally just went to get the door when he when oh. he came in. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, David. How yeah. you doing, bro? Oh god, not the Camilla Cabello version. I almost ended up in rehab after watching it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> From uh, what I saw, I, I saw uh, with Cindy's version, uh, yeah. her, her reaction to it, and um, yeah, things happen. I saw, um, I saw Amanda the Jedi's video. I think. Oh, I saw Trin Level's video as well. I saw Amanda the Jedi's video as well, and then I kind of went down a rabbit hole watching with Cindy's um, ones on the kissing booth. Which was wait, hang on, Cindy Fam, Fam. No, um, read read with Cindy. Oh, I'm thinking of Sophia Fam. My bad. No, that's all right. Go on, yeah. Don't read, watch. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jay was just like, don't watch that. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> don't worry. I mean, like, it'll mostly be the older ones. I think he says, I thought white men can't jump was just a Mel Brooks joke. I'm pretty sure it was at some <laughs> yeah. point. Although the problem with that is in Australia, it's like we have Australian rules football and those dudes can fucking jump. Yeah. Like, they, can, they can really jump. Oh, dude, the amount of photos I've seen with dudes just like kneeing a guy in the face who's standing full like up just I mean, like to catch a ball. To be fair, those jumps, like half of it is them also essentially climbing the dudes next to them to get mm -hmm. to get higher. Yeah, that's so just they're kind funny, of, They're man. kind of cheating. Yeah. Like the knee and in the face is very deliberate. For, for anyone, uh, I got the Christine asking me if uh, she should be offended, uh, like Mike didn't get a shout out a little bit. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> you know, the stupid thing is, I enjoyed the second like Mike better than the first one, and it was way worse. Oh, yeah. It was a I, lot worse. I don't remember. I didn't even know there was a second one. I just remember vaguely, vaguely, vaguely watching the first one when I was a kid. Right. Oh, wait, yeah. so you're not a fan of Girl Boss Capitalistorella? <laughs> no. Oh, God, I see. Yeah. Oh, I don't good. like the term Girl Boss just because of where it came from, that show. What show? Oh, you haven't, oh yeah, look up oh. the show. No, I don't know. Yeah. I was just like, okay, Girl Boss, yeah, sure, why not? For fans... Oh, oh, for anyone who's... Yeah, I'm a fan of the original Cinderella story. It's like the most well-known story of all time at this point, I swear yeah. to God. I've seen so many variations of it. Oh, Cendrillon. Mm. Every time. Watch it for a laugh. Didn't so... even know you were doing one. Totally coincidence just on YouTube. Nice. Dick. Oh. France. There you go. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Hard to watch basketball if you don't understand the plot of basketball or sports in general. I mean, that's to a degree. I guess it helps. Like, Dude, you don't really. I needed you there to explain love and basketball to me. <laughs> I am very happy I had you present. <laughs> Or I just would have pissed off so many basketball fans. Just have no idea what does and doesn't matter. Nah, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, favorite Disney princess? Ooh. That's a good that's question. Tuffy. Oh. At the top of my head, I'm kind of tossing up between uh, Rapunzel and Mulan. Yeah. I, hmm. I can't stop... Like, I'm just thinking of the, is it, is Rapunzel the character in Tangled? Yes. Yeah, then that's, yeah, that's where I'm at. That one. Hey, Kelly, what's up? Mm. Missed you too. Oh, hey, Kelly. Need less things, loves your glasses. 
Well, apparently they need more things, including <laughs> your glasses. <laughs> Appreciate you. Yeah. Oh, uh, Coach Carter. Got any slashes lined up? I mean, yeah, like, actually, we were talking about maybe doing um, Happy Death Day. At some point, Though, yeah. Like, they, they are in there. Don't worry. We, we kind of want to get around yeah. everything. Like, our choices have ne never really have anything to do with genre. It's yeah. just, is it female-led or not? Hey, super chat from Ben. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> Much love, Ben Snow. I don't love, know. And love, what, Rosie, is on our list. Or at least that's it should true. be. I don't know what the deal. If it's not, if not on that, it should be. Mm. Meredith. They want to know if you've seen The Room, like, bro. Oh, you're yeah. You're such a Room fan. I, I have seen The Room. I literally have, I didn't bring it up today, but I've literally got coffee mugs of The Room in my house. But yeah. And you remember that, um, what was it? That song? The like auto tuned Prince version of the Oh movie. yeah. <laughs> You're tearing me apart, Lisa. That one. And I am the fool. Oh <laughs> my mark. <laughs> it help it really helps that you know what like words they're going for. Oh yeah. If you have, I don't remember that shit. If you haven't seen it, just look it up. It's the room as a prince song. It actually fucking slaps. That's the that's the weirdest part. It's actually like a legitimately good song the hook is really good and yeah it's just mm. catchy as all hell <laughs> mm -hmm. now hold on a second I, when we get when we did this super chat for ben snow here he's asking about the love rosie thing yeah i said um, that, that should be in the that i'm pretty sure did. that's on the list okay yeah but yeah just just quickly again guys we really don't want to be going through whether we will or won't do a movie nah, yeah that's i don't want that to be the whole stream yeah uh, Ricardo says, please just don't do an entire spooky reaction month for October. Oh, we yeah, definitely won't. That was the plan. Won't. We literally discussed this just the other day. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, the few times that we have tried to do kind of like holiday appropriate reactions, it's it's kind of just been really stressful to kind of get the exact right one out at the exact right time. So we're just like, nah, fuck that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And also then there's the like getting the right choices and stuff. Exactly, yeah. Like, trying to do specific Christmas or, like, Halloween-type things for our channel. It's like, that's not really what we do. So they'd have to really fit our niche first and then be, like, horror or Christmas or whatever second, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, shit, people like me singing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Have you watched that? Dude, Stargirl this season's great. Uh, yeah, I fucking that. love... I love Stargirl so much. Like... And especially because it, it really does help that I know the characters, their backgrounds, and, like, where they're supposed to end up as well. Like, Courtney, for the first couple of seasons, has been really, like, pretty over the top. But that's kind of the point of the character, so... Yeah, I don't like when people complain. I mean, I haven't seen it, but I don't like when people complain about, like, oh, this character is just a dick. And it's like, yeah, that's their character. A dick. Mm. <laughs> that was the yeah. point. <laughs> well, no, she's not a dick. She's like the opposite of your st st regular zero hero. Oh, no, you know I, know. I know. I just I know mean in saying. general, yeah, yeah. you know. In general, like, agreed. Yeah, but in this case, it's because she's like overly. Um, she's way too excited to be a superhero. Ah, okay. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. But again, that's the point of the character. It's an homage to Jeff's sister, called right. Johns. Okay. Well, especially when it's like. You gotta you you. It's good to get the spectrum of human emotion, you know, in there. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and it does have a decent um, cross section of people in it. You know what I mean? Mm. The one character I really can't stand is the Beth Beth Chapel character. So heads up for that. Jacqueline recommends watching Steven Universe. Bro, bro, live. <laughs> recommends. I Steph. live for that show. <laughs> that is one of my favorite fucking shows. Yeah, I have watched. As soon as I saw that, I was like, <laughs> so yeah, man, it's all good. Still trying to get him to watch it, but yeah, that's really and this the stuff for Melbourne, dude. The only thing I'm gonna say about any of the lockdown or protest type stuff that's happening in Australia is that that like there are valid points like from all sides that I've heard, and it's just a whole lot of stressed out, angry, like frustrated, scared people, and I don't know what to think or what the answers are. All I know is that it's fucked and there are a lot of people suffering, so that sucks. I will say though, like Going into a big old crowd without a mask, without being vaccinated, oh, terrible. like not a good Just idea. We're not, we're not advocating for anti-masking or anti-vaxxing no. at all. Bro, to, I, I wear my mask to take out the garbage. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> now, just, just unfortunately, because of assholes, the term mm. 
Oh, I can see points on all sides. Just has a yeah. very, very shitty connotation now. <laughs> but that, that's fucked. It's like when someone's uh, when people trying to make the argument that like progressive is bad. I'm like, so learning new things is wrong. I'm confused. Yeah. Like hearing all sides of like the argument is the only way to treat an argument. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah. But the, just with the, the whole fucking, all the protests and thing, I get that people are frustrated with mm. how our government has handled this shit. And mm. in that sense, I get being super pissed and being super fed up because every time they extend it, it's like, dude, it should not have even been a fraction of this length. We really could have gotten ahead of this, but you guys botched it oh, so yeah. bad and everyone else is paying for it. And then mm. having news reports, seeing how like fucking Scotty pisses off to another country or jumps between borders mm. and his leisure... It's really just rubbing salt in the wound. <laughs> it's not good. So I yeah. understand being frustrated, but the way people have been going about it is totally not on. It's just kind of making everything worse. Yeah, I agree with that. It's, but again, a lot of scared, frustrated people, and it was poorly handled by a government. So it's yeah. tough. Oh, yeah, Louis is okay with saying that the anti-lockdown protests are being driven by far-right extremists. Yeah, it essentially got hijacked. So oh, it got hijacked? Not, that was not I great for them. That. Yeah, it pretty much turned into a far, like yeah, an alt right rally. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not really down with the far anything, far right, far left. It don't matter. These yeah. extremes are bad. <laughs> well, the way that I see it is that it kind of works like people see it as like a spectrum. It kind of actually works a little more like a circle, where yeah. you go far enough in either direction, you meet right back in the middle again at yeah. fascism. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd agree with that for sure. Um, now moving on. Dinky Russell asked for a female hero in DC. Ooh. So that's easy for me. It's Ravager. Oh, yeah. Who they've completely well, distanced hero. in Season 3, by the way. She's not a hero. And, yeah. Yes, she is. Well, okay, in Titans. Okay, is she like just a no, straight... in general. Oh, yeah, no, she's hero. into Teen Titans. Yeah, she's a hero. Yeah, she's actually a Teen Titan. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ravager, yeah. Ravager is never a villain. I don't know. I don't know a hell of a lot about the character. I well, remember her backstory first... involves a lot of like brainwashing and drugging and shit. Fair enough. Yeah, no, the first time I saw the character was Arrow's version of her, and she was a oh, straight up bad guy in that. Complete, complete, that's not Ravager at all. Yeah, okay, cool. That's just Summer Glau wearing a costume. Mm. Oh, f favorite female hero. Mm. Um, shit. I'm kind of want, I kind of want to say Wonder Woman because she's just so fucking wholesome and I love her. <laughs> Wonder Woman, yeah, sure. Yeah. Nice and classic. Nothing, nothing wrong there. Harley Quinn's become more of a famous favorite Ooh. over the recent years because of how more recent takes have handled her. Yeah, I do like, I do like Harley. Dude, I do like Harley as well. Actually, I like the animated show. My favorite animated Fantastic. show. Yeah. Of like you know recent years, it's Haley Kuoko did such an amazing job, dude. Oh yeah, it's really hard for me to pick favorites in anything because I'm like yeah. the reasons I like Wonder Woman are completely different to the reasons I like Harley. But they're both great fleshed out characters in their own rights. I can't be like, well, I prefer this one over the other. I'm like, well, no, it just, I like, I want different things from, from, from different characters. Mm. So, yeah, I yeah. can't struggle picking favorites in anything really. I definitely generally do, but there are some things I know, like my favorite DC characters. I mean, it's going to be Booster Gold, Black Adam, Ravager. That's fair. You know I mean? Sabrina remembers Loving Hawk Girl in Justice League. She was great in Justice League. She was great. I loved That's her terrible. character arc. Yeah, yeah. Um, Justice League Unlimited and just the the whole run from start to finish. You know, it was such a great show. Yeah. Fucking the question. Oh god. <laughs> Dude, that question <laughs> in that show was so good. It's just top. Top <laughs> tier, man. Amazing. Uh, oh god. Uh, I thought Catwoman. I mean, yeah, Catwoman's a really a really interesting character as well. Oh fuck, hang on. I just um, when the Manny Halle Pacquiao Berry version. Interesting first, choice. <laughs> Halle Berry. Wait, wait. Someone <laughs> likes the Halle Berry version the most? Is it because uh, yeah. it's insane? Raven 115. Halle Berry was good in that. Like, Halle Berry's a great actress, but that, that movie, it's like, it's just... I don't know what they were thinking. They were just like, yeah, we want to make a Catwoman movie that's not actually about Catwoman. Just not Catwoman at all. Not Catwoman. We can't get the rights to the character. Props to them for trying. I mean, for being like, we got to make a Catwoman movie, but we mm. don't, like, really want to use or have the rights out in the story, you know, to the character. Oh, no, they definitely, they didn't have the rights. Ah, okay. I don't know why they tried to go ahead. Yeah. But the annoying part about that is that 
then when it wasn't successful, they were like, oh man, I guess people just don't want to see female superheroes. It's like, no, mm, no. I just don't want to see bad movies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for someone who was watching, if we watch Titans on HBO, yeah, I mean, I do. Steph is not up to date. Yeah, I've, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait for season three to be all done. Much and then I'm going to watch the whole thing. Wait, it's finished? The last episode's coming out like next week or something. Well, exactly. Yeah, I'm going to wait for that last episode. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, you want to binge it all in one go? Pretty much. Fair enough. Yeah, Umbrella Academy is great, but I do have some issues. I tried, the, story, the story things. I tried watching it, but I kind of trailed off. Oh, really? I don't know. Maybe I need to give it another go. But yeah, me and Hazel tried watching it. And like four episodes in, we were just like, mm, I don't know, I'm really? really feeling this. So I kind of feel like watching oh. something else. And we did. I love Umbrella Academy. I'm thinking of coming back to it because a lot of people have told me like, no, 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 it gets better. It gets better. I don't know if it gets better because I actually really thought season one was way better than season two. And I, oh, it's probably not, a, I think it was an unpopular opinion. The problem with season two was like, there was a lot of great elements and character things, but there was a lot of just like, why? That yeah. stupid storyline, I don't get it. Yeah, okay, fair enough. It could have very easily been fixed. Why did you do that? Yeah. <laughs> Soapy Turtles. I can't deny Uma Thurman as Poison Ivy was a sexual awakening for every kid that watched it. <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. You know what's funny? You know what's funny? In mm. retrospect, like, um, Uma Thurman, like, I definitely thought that she was that she was pretty when, yeah. I, watched, when I watched Batman and Robin. But in retrospect, I'm like... Yeah, I probably also had a crush on Chris O'Donnell and didn't realize. <laughs> I was just like, whoa, yeah. he's so cool. <laughs> I definitely thought Chris O'Donnell was cool when I was young. Yeah. No doubt. And yeah, uh, Ricardo, I was very careful about the spoilers for Umbrella Academy. Yeah, no, we uh, we don't we do not do that fucking, that bullshit of just dropping random spoilers. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, and there, I got a few people here agreeing with me. They preferred season one. Again, season two is good. There was just some things I didn't think were smart. Yeah, in terms of in, in terms of writing, like literally, the writers' room kind yeah. of dropped the ball. Who is Uma Thurman? Ah, uh, before your time, Reva. Before your ah. time. Uh, oh yeah, I guess. Um, just quickly, also, uh, Weaver. We were talk. We were specifically talking about DC. Um, Taylor's a good character in Stargate Atlantis, and I love Stargate Atlantis. But yeah, specifically DC. Yeah, sure. Oh, Taylor, if you haven't seen Stargate Atlantis, um, fights. Ah, uh, what's the style called? No, not in the show. In real life. Oh, thanks, Kelly, for shouting out screamer. our Discord. By the way. Yes, thank you, Kelly. Because yeah. I. Forgot to put them in our little social thing that I'm going to put up later. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know Nightwing's fighting style, Eskrima? Wait, sorry. Nightwing's fighting style, Eskrima. Oh, no, I did not. Okay, well, that's his fighting style. That's the same fighting style that Taylor uses in um, Stargate Atlantis. Oh, cool. It's that basically, you know how Nightwing has his batons? Yeah. But they're interchangeable. He doesn't need to fight with them. The same, yeah, yeah. The same moves apply with or without the batons, yeah, essentially. Yeah, yeah. That's what Eskrima is. Right. Okay. I believe it's Filipino. Do we have any fellows in here that can confirm this for me? I think, I so. think we do. We yeah. had Ale. Confirm. <laughs> confirm. <laughs> Filipino fans, go! <laughs> <laughs> uh, a sports on your jumper. Is it not also Spider Man? Hmm? Oh, it's my jumper. No, it's the Dracula one. Oh, Dracula, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's my Dracula. It's my Dracula sweater. Oh, uh, Queen Shocker has a bad headache. Oh, no. Get some uh, ibuprofen or whatever. Yeah. Get some drugs. I think they call it something different in America. Do you see them? Oh. Raven? That's not basic. Raven's great. Actually, Nothing yeah, basic I, about Raven. She's a great I, character. Because I, I watched the Teen Titans cartoon. Oh. Um, Hold up. We got a... Linda just joined as a member. Oh, fuck yeah. New, New member. <laughs> Hey, Thank you. Much appreciated, Linda. Much appreciated. Yeah. Where are you um, seeing the new members? Because I swear it's not showing them. It's not showing up for me. Bro, I'm just. Yeah, I know you're on there. But I'm just like, what the hell? <laughs> Screamo or Arnis use Kali sticks. Yeah, there ah, you go. So there you go. Yeah, it's Filipino, right? Thanks, Al. Yeah. Yes, there you go. It is Filipino, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Nightwing's fighting style is Filipino. Yeah, I think all all I knew about it was that um Midnighter said that he fights like jazz. 
Okay. Sure. Yeah. So I, 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 I love music comparisons to other things like, like anything athletic, but I'm really getting tired of people saying things are like jazz. Well, he didn't like, like everything well, is like jazz. Apparently I'm fucking well, he, tired of it. He did follow it up by saying that it's like, it's, you know, it's rooted in structure and like, he knows what he's doing, but it's improvisational and flexible as well. So the, the, the that is a good way to put it hold up. That is a great comparison. Yeah. But you know, every time I hear someone be like, it's like jazz. I'm like, so garbage to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like Dude. Garbage. To be fair though, he then, um, followed up, you know, cause he was saying like, Oh, that means I can read your moves. And so then Nightwing was like, okay, well, Nightwing fights like jazz. Well, Robin fights like punk rock and basically sure. switched up his fighting style on the spot switched to beat him. Style, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And if you, if you can switch your style, that's obviously fantastic. Mm. Uh, who was really popular in Poland? Oh yeah. Before, damn it. You know, I'm not going to say anything cause this is like a Titans thing. I'm like, I don't remember who, cause someone just says, I love Jason Todd. Yeah. Jason Todd's a very interesting, fantastic character. Yeah. I really like what they've done with him for season three like they obviously couldn't do the storyline proper like under the red hood death in the family they obviously had to, had to adjust and change things they um, always do though i, I they, think they, that, i know they always do and they have yeah. to i think that people give adaptations a lot of shit for not being exactly how it was in the comics or exactly they, they how can't. it was in the, in the source material when it's egregious i get it or when they just blatantly cut shit for no reason i get it no, yeah but this isn't that though keep in mind a lot of the people who are approaching these projects they're doing their best you know oh, dude. and in this case the person doing their best is one of the most famous writers of the teen titans run so exactly. if we're disagreeing with jeff john's decisions in titans maybe we have problems yeah you know what i mean and also, yeah, Dinky Russell saying all the characters in the Titans cartoon were wonderful. Wish there was another version of Jinx. Yeah, I fucking looked up... When I looked up Jinx, like, for the first time, I was shocked to see that the cartoon version of her was just, like, nothing like the comic book version. And I was kind of bummed that the cartoon version didn't pick up more traction in the comics and in other media, like, the same way that, say, Harley Quinn did. She was in the uh, Batman animated series first and then got introduced in the comics. Yeah, I'm barely familiar with the jinx character yeah now the teen titans I, I didn't watch that really show, though. it was pretty it was really good though like yeah. especially the i really loved the friendship between starfire and raven so yeah. damn awesome yeah yeah oh yeah for sure um now just quickly the, who's the best robin i mean you know my answer so oh um tim drake for me tim drake hey hey he hey. is the best robin that's that's his thing He's the most, like, put together, the most intelligent, the mm. most, like, yeah, I, I've got this. I'm an actual hero. He's also clinically depressed, and I relate to that. Yeah, that's fair. He's yeah. also been um, confirmed as bisexual, so I also relate to that. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. He's he's just a very, like, I don't know how to put this, a modern character. He's yeah. just more modern than Jason and Dick. Yeah, Dick well, the Playboy, or well, even even Damien, Jesus Christ. Mm. Oh yeah, Damien doesn't exist. Yeah. Uh, Karen, <laughs> Karen Walters' job as Jason Todd in the Titan Show is fantastic. Yeah, I love I love the portrayal mm. of Jason. He, he literally. It. Oh, speaking of which, Titan season three, it feels like you know the first two seasons, it's like oh, it's pretty cinematic. They feel like they've really upgraded to TV show, whatever. Yeah. Season three is like, oh, you guys have more money now, and I can tell you, you're trying to use it. Uh, and I, I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that okay, in a good way. It's cool. like, it's like just, more cinematic. They're just flexing, flexing that new budget. They've, it's like they've gone, you know what? Let's just make a movie and cut it up into pieces. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Steph is like, sad by? Hell yeah. I am. <laughs> that is exactly how I am. Uh, oh, you guys uh, don't have to throw up. Thanks for throwing up the socials, Kande. But check it out. Check it out. I got something fancy for that instead. Oh, Steph's got a thing. Sorry? Total simp. No, I was okay. just confirming you. Oh, yeah. Um, total simp for dick. Well, I mean, half of the women in the DC universe are also a simp for dick, so yeah. I guess that makes sense. You're not alone. But hold on, look. <laughs> I'll, show you, I'll show you this fancy fucking thing I, I've got for the socials. Boosh. Check this out. Go on those fucking socials. Hold on. I'll try to get you. Nope. You know what's funny is I can't actually see us on the stream anymore. I've only got the comments. There we go. Oh, okay. 
I don't know why. I'm just like, whatever. It's, it's cool. That's <laughs> no, all good. But yeah. I think he's more likely to become the next Batman, Damien, Tim, or Cassandra. Well, it better be Tim because Damien's going to be a garbage Batman. I'd even like to see... Her own role. I'd, even, I'd even love to see Cass as as Batman more than more than Tim. I think Cass has a lot of potential as a character that just has not been explored in enough Well, there mediums, is that. You know? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Like, the fact that... Uh, the fact that the only version of Cassandra Kane that we've got is the Birds of Prey one, and it's like I like that movie, but that's not Cassandra Kane. Oh yeah, like, not at all. At all, like yeah, not even a little bit. Zero elements aside, oh, the name and her kid. ethnicity were carried over. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, she's an Asian female, Cassandra Kane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get out. Yeah. <laughs> Ricardo says, I love how you talk about flexing a new budget and then you flex your new tech. Yes, I absolutely do. <laughs> I know you can't. Yeah. Wait, can you see it on? Can you see the, the, the live, screen, live stream screen on your end? No, I can't see shit. I've only got the comments in it for some reason. So I've got like literally your Instagram socials on your side of the screen and my Instagram socials on my <laughs> side of the screen. It looks That's super funny. professional. I'm really proud. Oh, nice. Cool. <laughs> I'll, I'll take yeah. it off now. I'll take it off now, though. Man, I swear to God, I'm going to post a new music clip soon. It's been almost two years since I posted something, and like, it's just so unrepresentative. I feel like <laughs> it's like I swear, guys, I do music. Really, yeah. I do. I play all the time. I just don't post all the time. <laughs> you just can't. You just can't hear it. <laughs> oh That's man, right. I've, been, I've been trying to post more frequently to Instagram seeing as you guys are like on here <laughs> yeah well we're gonna we're, we're trying to be more accessible i suppose yeah uh, and um, i'm tr and i'm trying to uh sort out the discord and get that in order i promise i get around to i just i just get overwhelmed very e easily but mm. um yeah i'll be fixing that up a little bit more i might be going through and disabling comments for some of the boards so that they're a little more organized and streamlined you know, I'll be putting up rules. I'll do, I'll do all that business. I just kind of, uh, yeah, maybe, sh maybe jump the gun a little bit on that one, bit off a little more that I could chew. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're we're getting there. There's yeah. just a lot of different things, and I mean, you can sort of tell we're semi delegating different tasks, and it, obviously that works hmm. a bit better. Like we don't do all of the same things yeah. all the time. Oh, thanks for the thanks for the love, Sarah, Sarah Santo. Uh, oh. Hello, Sarah. Oh, then there's Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> What's she doing? She's like, shh, I'm not here. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's like, shh, <laughs> shh, I'm not in the room. I am just a casual viewer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> this is definitely not nepotism. <laughs> Red Wayne Family Adventures, no. No, I've not. Although I'm very I was very happy to see that it's like, oh wow. Just DC leaning into wholesome Bat Fam adventures. Mm. Um I thought it was a fan comic, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh the Wayne hang on. Uh answering JC without spoilers, do you think Titans Jason is capably capable of being redeemed at this point? Absolutely yes. Come on, man. It's 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 comic books. They're and also, like, they would never have done Jason Todd if they didn't want him to end up an anti-hero. That's who he is. Yeah. He has to be redeemed somehow. That's that's the character. I'm slowly mm. realizing from your guys' picks that I never got over my phase of liking guys in eyeliner. Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, yeah. I didn't either, clearly. So, the only reason I don't really do it anymore is that I don't go anywhere. I don't have to be presentable ever. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do it because I, it does not go with my beard. I tried it. Oh, yeah. I tried it recently because I was like, you know what? I'm really getting over a lot of the internalized bullshit sure. that I picked up over the years. And I was like, mm. fuck it. I'm going to try some guy line. I'll try some makeup. And I was like, oh, just does not suit. Just does not suit the beard. You know, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Oh, I have to put another one. Puppy. Oh, yeah. Ricardo's going to put up puppy. Puppy. Yay. Yay. Uh, have you seen Shang Chi? No, have not. Really want to watch it though. There's a lot of newer like movies and stuff that I really want to see. Yeah, I'm keen for Shang Chi. I'm assuming that there's gonna be a bunch of racism surrounding the conversation. I've heard that. I mean, I might be wrong, but I've heard that it's actually pretty good. I'm not talking about the movie. Oh right. Uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure the movie would be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get overwhelmed easily, can relate, Steph. Yes, unfortunately, a lot of people can, but that is okay. Mm, so our uh, say, favorite DC Marvel villain... Well, if Black Adam counts as a villain, which most of the time, then yes, Black Adam. I mean, I'd say or Deathstroke. I'd say Venom, but he's like the DC. sold more as an oh, anti-villain. Oh, actually, DC That's just true. Yeah, yeah anti-hero, anti-villain. I don't know how you want to call it, but that's true. But again, I, same thing with Deathstroke and Black Adam. Yeah, either of them are really heroes or villains. I will say that I like Venom most when he's portrayed as a bad guy, like maybe a bad guy with sympathetic reasons but ultimately a bad well, person and i like that i like when eddie brock is a bastard <laughs> yeah yeah you, you don't need to make him super likable so one of the things i didn't like I, about the recent last few years of joker conversation is they're trying to make him more relatable and likable and yeah. acceptable and it's like no he's a psycho now exactly whoa super chat from king perry Hey, dip me, dip me in green paint, no. paint and spank me like a naughty avocado. What the fuck? Okay. That's just odd, man. That is odd. It's a... You're making me... I, I will give you the foghorn for the... I'll give you the... No. No, no, no. no. Dude, this is... Sometimes fucking teenagers and shit watch this channel. Yeah, good point. Yeah, no, don't, don't, don't do that shit. Just yeah. don't do that stuff. Thank you for the super chat, but... Maybe don't put up weird stuff. We do have kids in here. Mm. Um, mm. Oh, and uh, for anyone wondering, I was talking about my sister, Sarah, who is literally standing like near me, not yeah. Sarah Weaver in the chat. Oh, yeah. 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 Weaver, if I, I use your last name to differentiate the Sarahs. Yeah. You're Weaver. <laughs> mm. That's Sarah. Uh, has been in lockdown for more than a year. God damn. Oh, yeah. AL was asking before, like, are the cinemas open here? Not in Sydney, that's no. for sure. Yeah. Uh, will we see the new Venom? Yes. Uh, I mean... I know yeah. you're not hyped, but you'll see it. Yeah. I will definitely watch it. Just not that hyped. Mm. Dark Phoenix is your favorite villain. She's not really a villain, though. Yeah. She's kind of beyond all that. Yeah. But I get, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I like how grimy Tom Hardy looks throughout. See, I didn't. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I don't know. I was, I was into it. Makes I think, sense. I think they, I mean, it made sense, but I feel like they went just a touch overboard with it. Just a little bit. Everyone says that they loved his acting in it, but I honestly think he hammed it up just a, just a, a little too much. Too much. Touch too and, much. Yeah, I'd agree well, with that. It's like, it wasn't bad, but it was more like how, you know how they say it's like, it's good to push it so you're like, so that you're up here. But mm. if you just are up here the entire time, mm. there's like there's no very there's no variety to it. Yeah, you need space. Yeah, and that's kind of how I felt. I felt like he was a bit one note throughout pretty much the whole movie, and then I had a bunch of other complaints as well. But I'm not going to get into that now. Yeah. Um, now, Soapy Turtles talking about Sandman deserving his own movie, the, the version yeah. from Spider-Man Three. Totally that's agreed. so funny. <laughs> you're, you're saying you're saying you uh, you loved his story and you didn't even care. About Venom, well, freaking neither did Sam Raimi. <laughs> that's why well, his character sucks so bad in it. That's true. Sam Raimi had never wanted Venom in that movie. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't get the character. He didn't understand he didn't like him. The he, didn't him in, he didn't want to put him in there. Yeah. And the studio forced him to. And yeah. then blamed him when the movie like turned out not great. <laughs> so basically, after fucking years and years of making movies, it's pretty much always like... When there's a dispute between the director and the studio, it's almost always the studio being like well wrong. You know what yeah, I mean? just just fucking with the creative vision for no yeah. reason other than their idea of what's going to sell. You should watch Cinema Therapy on the Joker. I had a lot of really good points. I like Cinema Thera Therapy. I honestly think that it's a it's just a it's just a great idea. Period. Yeah, from what I've seen, uh, they seem like a good channel. I have only seen a couple of episodes. Mm. But yeah, but they look great. Yeah. But also, yeah, like even talking about like what you were saying about Joker before, it's kind of like, I feel like with the Joaquin Phoenix version of it, deep down in there, there is this message of like, Arthur is fundamentally not a great person, even if he suffers from mental illness, even if yeah, he like you know well is a victim in a lot of ways, he still does have like these delusions of grandeur and passes judgment on people. 
but it gets buried yeah. by all the other stuff and people who are already of that persuasion, you know, who are already maybe not so great as human beings mm. see that and latch onto it and think, yes, that's me. Literally that. So yeah, it's like, I can see, I can see the full range that they were going for. I understand that like the directors were trying to maybe show all sides of it, but it's like, this has kind of a, this has repercussions in real life. <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, um, when you're making an intelligent, nuanced point that requires a lot of detail, you can't put in a movie like that. Mm. Like a movie like The Joker, are you kidding me? It's hard you know to... how many fucking idiots watched that movie and just yep. loved it? And they were like, yes, I've got mental problems. No, you don't. You're just an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> like... <laughs> You know what I mean? For one, you, and just, you're not addressing them properly. <laughs> yeah, a, you're not addressing them properly, and then B, people just use that as an excuse. Yeah, They're like oh, the Joker did some great stuff. Yeah, he did some great thing, guys. <laughs> Why is Sylvester Stallone advocating the Joker? <laughs> hey, he's Sylvester Stallone. He can advocate whatever he wants. Hey, we live in a society, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Well, I know how I, you know, I got this speech impediment. <laughs> Uh, um. Uh, hi guys, just listening to you guys while I do my work for kinesiology class homework. Okay, nice. good to see you guys. No, that's good cool. Times. Thank good you. Times. Yeah. Um. Oh man, I forgot about my coffee. This bullshit. Oh no, it's all cold now. Tragic. Yeah. 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 It's not. It's not warm. There it is. It's not warm at all. You guys watch cinema therapy a little bit. I've not. I've not seen heaps. I don't like. I've I've, I've seen a few of uh, their videos and I thought they were great, but no, I don't yeah. actually watch them regularly. Just in general, I think I just love the idea of therapists hmm. breaking down movies on a public platform because I feel like that'll help to kind of depopularize a lot of the toxic shit that gets pushed in movies. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I, I was reading the comments. Oh, uh, you were talking about the cinema therapy thing. Yeah. 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 Sylvester Stallone is King Shark. Man, yeah, I really want to watch The Suicide Squad. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen it, so... I'm obviously keen, you know? Yeah. Mr. Freeze being a favorite. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, when when guys relate themselves to the Joker, it's just an instrument of red flag. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah, that's exactly. It should be. You like, can... you don't want to draw that comparison. Like, you can like the Joker, even, like, as a character... For whatever reason, whatever you've seen it that you think like, hey, yeah, I, I think that's kind of interesting. I think that's kind of cool. Or just I think he makes a compelling bad guy. That's all good. But mm. the second you start saying like, oh, I relate to that on a personal level. It's like, ooh, why, why though? He's a mm. psychopathic murderer. <laughs> he honestly thinks that beating the shit out of his girlfriend is a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, guy. So that's the character that we're all pretty much for. And the, the relationship to the whole Harley and Joker Oof. thing, people are like, it's like, dude, you've clearly never been abused because why would you, there's no way you can like, um, romanticize the Joker and Harley relationship. If you've been through some real shit. No, like, you absolutely can't. Or even if you know fuck. someone who's been through some shit, or even or if you just you can, know what know. abuse looks like, <laughs> Yeah, you just see yeah. that and be like, no, no, I think it, not. Well, it strikes me as the whole uh, Twilight Fifty Shades after sort of situation where yes. it's just like, oh, you've never been stalked, have you? Yeah, no. You've never been with a controlling, abusive guy, have you? Yeah. And unfortunately, yeah. it's led to a lot of people getting into relationships like that when they're super young and thinking, oh, this is normal. Though. This is romance. This is like Edward, this yeah. is like J uh, Edward and Bella, you know? But fucking, yeah, no, that's the main reason why I really did not like the first Suicide Squad movie. Because mm. that oh, was because it still epic. somewhat romanticized the relationship. Bro, somewhat? Somewhat. I haven't seen it in a long time, so. Oh, no, it was just flat out, like, he tortured her and then they got together. Oh. He literally Oh, yeah, tortured that's her straight up the storyline. And they- Electroshock but, therapy. But you know what? they tried to tone it down from like the full lengths of his actual abuse so that people would be cool with it. Yeah, I know. But you even then it's like, bro, that one thing was enough to just sink this entire ship. Or at least Joker has been. thrown Harley out of a three-story window before. Oh yeah. He shot her. He's mm, legendary. He's done everything. Mm -hmm. um, 
quickly mental breaker i do not really have a comfort movie i never really yeah. i don't really come back to movies that much tv shows sure but movies not so much mm -hmm. like i've seen the hundred probably like seven times at this point it's fucking yeah. stupid when couples say the relationships like joker and harley's mm -hmm. it's like oh shit yeah you got to get out of that relationship then mm -hmm. literally the only thing that i could see as being somewhat okay for relating to the joke for relating to the joker on is essentially the whole thing about him being a queer icon and him being like a, a metaphor for queerness and whatnot and people like kind of relating to him being a symbol for like queer rage and whatnot like, yes because he's uh, heavily queer coded there's a pretty good videos on that i should oh i know i, I remember you talked about the heavily queer coded thing it's yeah. just like so what you want me to believe is that queer people are psycho no well it's more that it's like this is how um queer people have been represented in media a lot as pretty much queer coded as villains you know and oh, like I see made to seem like bad people seem wrong and distorted and twisted and evil so it's kind of like a, it's kind of like cathartic to lean into that a bit and see the joker who is such a you know blatantly queer character in how he's coded kind of just fucking up everyone's shit it's kind of like not. It's not like super healthy to to idolize that I or anything. I don't think comparison. it is idolization, but it is kind of like yeah. I can I can see that. Oh, I can see it, but it's like I wouldn't go around like trying to discuss this with straight culture or trying to like. Do you know what I mean? Is that no. not going to make things? Better? No, and actually, yeah. If you actually, if you want to watch some good videos on that, uh, check out Lego Batman Subversive Queer Coding by the Squad and Queer Coding the Joker, an, 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 an analysis by Chase J. They're both sure. very, very good and way more detailed <laughs> than, than I am. <laughs> sure, yeah. Um, Louisa is asking, uh, oh, she's saying that that's why so many, a certain kind of dudes hated the Birds of Prey. It wasn't really a way for them to view the violent men in it as cool or aspirational. I would totally agree with that because, okay. like, the only pro like it's not a perfect movie there are issues with it sure but it's way better than like half of the other fucking marvel movies and dc movies out there anyway so I'm, like the amount of hate that it got was very disproportional to how good the movie actually was it was solid it yeah, wasn't it was amazing fun. but it was solid it was fun it was yeah. fun honestly <laughs> yeah and yes all of pretty much all the dudes in it are terrible but so yeah like that's realistic yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean We've got receipts. <laughs> mm, mm, oh, yeah. Um, uh, Lego Joker, best Joker, hands down. That is true. I rewatched the Lego Batman movie just recently because I watched that, that video on queer coding the Joker. And then, I was, then me and Hazel were just like, do you want to rewatch Lego Batman? That shit, that shit is great. <laughs> I love that video. Lego Batman is great, movie. yeah, yeah. Um, Zave is saying, getting choked to spank some there, but all that control is too much. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's like, that's you're fun. in a safe environment, you're doing whatever. I mean, it's yeah. up to you. But... Uh, contrary to what Fifty Shades would have you believe, sexual assault and, like, yeah, that's play not... are very different things. <laughs> yeah. And that's a whole other thing. Like, there's only so much I know. Um, yeah. All I can... Oh, hang on. We got a... Oh, super a, chat. Super chat from Linda, it looks like. Linda, have yes. Either Linda. of you seen some kind of wonderful John Hughes? Would love to hear your thoughts on it. Hold on. Go on the uh, Steph, you have not seen it. The, the I've not seen it. No. Um, that's Eric Stoltz. And I can't remember the actor, the female actor's name. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I, I've seen parts of some kind of one of, of some kind of wonderful on TV. And yes, we will do it for the channel at some point. It's not a popular enough film for us to really take a risk on it right now. Yeah, it'll, it'll come I later. know that it's like a, a heavily underrated movie that I want to see. It's like, it's literally John Hughes being like, Pretty in Pink was supposed to be a thing and it didn't work out. So I'm going to try again. Yeah, right. He just did basically like what he wanted to actually do with Pretty in Pink. He did with some kind of wonderful. Okay, cool. Oh, I think uh, but I've only seen parts of it, so it's pretty much the one where it's like the the girl is the one who's like pining for the affection of her best friend, right? Correct. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, Steph Batman animated that created Holly was such a better creation story. I loved her in the series. Love manga, but didn't love the character the same. I mean, fair. I like My the friend. I like the animated series. 
version. And I love the more recent animated series. I saw some people talking about that too. That one's sick. Um, um, <laughs> Batman, the animated series. It's been so long, man. Yeah. I really want to rewatch it. Yeah. This runs into a girl who wants a Joker Holly relationship and honestly freaked the poor oh, girl. Oh, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Uh, I'm spam about Batman the anime series but I want to be good <laughs> yeah maybe don't don't spam anything guys <laughs> yeah um All the a lot of people who are abused identify with these characters abuse can become addictive oh yeah that that is true yeah. I'm talking about people who are trying to move past their past I suppose mm. uh, so. I mean like I, I I understand what Aaron's saying here but I also know a lot of people who have been in extremely abusive situations and um the only ones that like stick with this kind of behavior this kind of ones are the ones who don't see a way out yeah and if you well, give people a way out they will take it you just, just need to give them a realistic way out yeah just to clarify yeah just we're not we're not shaming anyone for like being in a realist in an abusive relationship or anything like that or saying that's oh. like you just gotta try harder oh <laughs> why not know, just leave them <laughs> one thing i think i need to make clear is all not all but like a heavy proportion of the women i know have been abused mm. and i've um been around for a lot of very difficult conversations we'll, yeah we'll just leave it at that yeah i literally don't know a single woman who has not experienced some kind of abuse from a guy I, i've met some but it's more rare than not unfortunately yeah. uh it's 5 a.m here and i should be sleeping but you guys are really interesting to listen to they don't have the same upbringing here in Russia in terms of media, comics, and such. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. I mean, that makes entirely sense. different cultures for sure. Yeah. yeah, and I would, I would tell you to go to bed, but like I was up until six a.m., so I can't talk. Yeah, you really can't. <laughs> I really can't. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on Falcon Winter Soldier? I fucking liked it. I really liked yeah, it, was, it. It was fun. Yeah. I thought that it had the same problem that a lot of Marvel movies and shows have, where the ending kind of trailed off a little bit, like the. The climax kind of didn't quite live up to the hype, but it was still really good. Wait, what movie are we talking about? It's just Falcon and Winter Soldier. Oh, so the TV show. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was looking at the comments. On, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I don't think it was like an amazing thing or anything. I enjoyed it though. Yeah. One Division, same thing. I enjoyed it. Haven't watched. Yeah, that was good Loki. too. Haven't watched Loki yet. Haven't watched Loki yet. I'll get to it sooner or later. Hmm. Like, I'm not... Uh, Loki is an interesting character. He's fun, but I'm not nearly as much of a fan as everyone else seems to be. Uh, I don't know. I've heard that, like, this series really, like, fleshes him out even more. And, like, a lot of people are like, oh, I wasn't that much of a Loki fan, but then I watched the TV show, and I'm like, holy shit. I mean, that's how I feel That's how I feel about Wanda. Uh, Wanda Maximoff, Scarlet Witch in... Oh, uh, yeah. I was series. more interested in her to begin with, because she's just a more interesting character. She but, is. You know... Uh, Tell me when you guys start with the life advice portion. Well, <laughs> I mean, we're not specifically trying. Um, oh, God. Christine, talking about Eric Stoltz being the OG Marty McFly. Yeah. I've seen long cuts of that movie with Eric Stoltz instead of uh, what's his face? Oh, okay. Uh, Michael J. Fox. Right. Love Michael J. Fox. Indeed. Yeah. Stoltz Indeed. just didn't have the same kind of humor and charisma. Different. Different personalities, you know. Fair enough. Oh. Oh, Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill don't get enough credit for their performances. That's this is true. I Kevin mean, Conroy is the best Batman ever. Yeah, he is. But I don't know, man. Like the, I mean, I guess because they I see both so many shitload of crap. Yeah. I see so many posts about them being, yeah. you know, this is the only Batman Joker I recognize. There's so many yeah. appreciation posts about them that when now whenever I see someone being like, they don't get enough appreciation. I'm like, man, I swear they do. <laughs> Well, like, here's the thing. I would say that they get enough appreciation within fan circles. It's just that yeah. the casual viewers aren't as interested mm -hmm. in... Yeah, 100%. Most whatever. people don't know that Luke Skywalker and the Joker and the Batman animated series are the same people. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, true story. It's like, bro. Uh, one sec. Let's go to the bathroom. Ah, uh, fair enough. All right, uh, the stream, Steph. Yes. <laughs> Take the wheel. Have heard 50 Shades of Grey come about from Twilight fan fiction. Uh, yeah, it did. That's exactly how it happened. Uh... If you're in an abusive relationship, please get out. Social pain and possibly physical is one thing. Love, hi, my father. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, not that they don't get credit, but they're almost never brought up compared to live action actors. Play Batman and Joker. Yeah, that is fair. And 
voice actors, period, do not get enough recognition or credit for their work. I'm going to be honest. Because people always remember the image, but they rarely ever remember the voice. And to some extent, they enjoy, they can enjoy a level of like anonymity with that. But yeah, it's mainly like fan circles that give them most of the love. Uh, oh, thanks a lot, movie sequel dude 49. A lot of abused people identify with Carlo. Ran, if you've seen essays of the Rayleigh shipping communities, uh, don't know anything about that. I'm not really that much a fan of the um, the sequel trilogy. Link flaws and also go as well. Tell us what you're saying. The way abuse changes the mind is very complex. It is. Uh, Secret, I've had no more ships and BDSM relationships. I'll say, looking back, the BDSM ones were much more direct and honest communication and much more healthy. I mean, that makes sense because it's like they would have to, they would really like have to have way more open and honest communication just because of like the stuff you're doing. Uh, so fucking excited for the Hawkeye show. Yeah, same here, Ricardo. I really love that. For one, it looks like they're actually making him like canonically deaf. Uh, which is great, and it's based on fuck. I can't remember the name of the artist, but that one run of Hawkeye comics where he was just the ultimate relatable dude. Whoa, Sarah the uh, Weaver, thank you, Weaver, so much for the super chat again. Please don't go broke. <laughs> but thank oh. you again. I heard Weaver, a sound. Weaver sent us more money. Uh, Weaver. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> I mean, like, thank you, but please. Oh, yeah, thank you Please so don't much. overdo it. <laughs> any oh, man, under- I'm... Ooh, Sorry, any, go on. Any underrated movie or TV show that you can re- recommend? Yes, absolutely. So okay, many. KO, Let's Be Heroes. I did not mm-hmm. get to plug this enough times in previous streams when mm-hmm. you guys would ask, like, what were, like, favorite shows and stuff. That show does not get enough love and is just criminally underrated, mainly because Cartoon Network just absolutely screwed it over didn't advertise for it properly and then cancelled it before it was supposed to the whole story gets gets told it mm. gets a bit rushed towards the end as you know it usually does with situations like that but yeah okay ko let's be heroes it's freaking choice man mm-hmm. just trust me on this one sure um i think there's a lot of shows that i really like that i really want more people to watch you know the dc ones being specifically anything dc related especially the newer ones um superman titans doom patrol and star girl mm. all amazing i think superman's actually I, I like superman and lois a lot but i think it's actually overrated compared to the other dc shows like doom patrol is probably the most intelligent interesting one out of the four interesting star is probably my favorite but the most underrated show i want people to watch right now is going to be resident alien oh yeah Resident yeah. Alien with Alan Tudyk. Yeah. Oh my God. It's just like, <laughs> thank you for doing a show that is somehow different. I appreciate you. Yeah. You know what That's I mean? something original. Oh, also, if you guys haven't seen, um, I mean, it's getting pretty popular on YouTube, but if you haven't seen, um, hell of a boss, that mm. shit is sick. It's just, it's just a YouTube series. Um, it's done by like an original, an original artist. Just, it's great. Just, just look it up. Just look it up. Go watch it. It's awesome. And it's got like a um a connected series called Has Been Hotel that's going to be you know picking up like that's going to be getting more episodes later on as well. So yeah, it's mm-hmm. awesome. Uh, uh, Soapy Turtle saying that um, so many of the Netflix shows she loves gets cancelled after one or two years. Yeah, um, in some cases it was COVID. Yeah, but Netflix also has a tendency to do this. They hella hype up shows. They let it get super hyped for like one, two seasons, three seasons, and then they cancel it. Yep. Not many shows make make it past season three on Netflix. It's really like, annoying, to be honest. Me and my uh, me and my girlfriend just uh, finished watching Travelers. For me, it was the second time. It's a Netflix show, um, done by some of the Stargate family. So Brad Wright uh, was the creator there. Travelers is such a great show. Like it's a classic, like eighties, nineties type show done now in a lot of ways. Um, what else to put it? It's a time travel show. It's a great. Great, great show. We really enjoyed it. <laughs> I don't want to just spoil too much, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, fair. hey, Swats, watching Resident Alien and Cherry. Hey, fucking Resident Alien, sick. <laughs> yeah, Resident Alien popping off. So good, man. Oh, actually, you know what's another underrated one? Is Keepo. No one talks oh, about Keepo. Just talking yeah. about Netflix. Yeah, Keepo and the Age of Wonder Beasts. That shit does not get enough love. Keepo to me is a lot like. 
it's a lot like Avatar. Yeah. And, and like in the way that it handles its characters and its storyline mm. and the way it's set up throughout the whole season. Yeah. Um, just, yeah, Kipo is a fantastic show. I would, I'm not going to put it on the same tier as Avatar, but I'd put it really close. It's, it's definitely very close. Really yeah, close, some other yeah. good ones. Oh, Metalocalypse too. Oh, God. Not enough people Fucking by Metalocalypse. Metalocalypse. For anyone who's remotely a metal fan, there's a million like great metal jokes in there. Dude, even if you're not a metal fan, it's just hilarious. It's just sure. so fucking funny. Can't and it's going to get was... like, a proper conclusion. Even though oh, it's coming. Wait. Yeah, Doomstar, Requiem, Doomstar Requiem is getting a part two. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's finally sure. happening. Get this. They freaking canceled this show. They, uh, you know, decided, okay, instead of a last season, we'll do a musical special. You know, they did the musical special and they were like, okay, so can we get like a part two to this musical special so we can actually just finish up the story? And the, yeah, net, yeah, nah. the network was just like, no, nope, and canceled nah. it. They crowdfunded enough money to bring it back for a whole season. And they were still just like, no, nope, no, but now we are actually getting that final, that final part. Fuck yes, right, now, from Cherry Lattimore. Thank and you hold so up. much. You skipped. Oh, sorry. Doc Jade has become a member. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. He doesn't want the air horn. <laughs> Any other sounds apart from the air horn. Okay. Anything. All right, hold on. You know what we'll do? We'll just do an, we'll do an applause. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and we'll do a Whittley's for the new member. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Crow is my favorite superhero movie. I guess that counts, yeah. He's probably a superhero. Wait, which one? The Crow. Oh, The Crow. Oh, yeah, The Crow. I've not seen it. Have you, still, have you still not seen it? No. Oh, dude, you have to. Dude, my my list yeah, is extensive, okay? Some this of those is just don't TV shows. <laughs> I know. Some of those TV shows don't deserve to be on there, too. I know your list. No, you don't. You don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know me. Because if you did, you would be judging me much harder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Beverly Like Travelers, nice. It's a good show. What? One Day at a Time is a great show too. It's a great sitcom, yeah. They canceled a show called The Society. It had a gay deaf character with a gay profession. Damn, yeah, that's freaking great. Um, Shahida has only been watching anime. Is that what you? Yeah, I only watched anime recently. I don't watch anime at all. I've not listened. I've not watched anime in ages i kind mm. of i kind of want to get back into it but also like part of the reason i stopped watching it was just how much like toxic tropey shit is in so many of them unfortunately mm -hmm. like as someone recommended me to watch um seven deadly sins which was on netflix mm. and then a mate of mine mateo was like no I actually don't watch it because like the main characters, one of the main jokes, recurring jokes of the series is the main character likes groping women. And it's just played for laughs. And it's just, Alrighty then. Unfortunately, that is a pretty common thing. Yeah, unfortunately, it's those are the kind of period. lessons that you know, teenage me didn't understand were wrong. Yeah, so, exactly. And that's, kind of the, that's kind of the problem. Mm. Ooh, I'm um, still salty. Quickly, hold oh. up, we didn't do the sound for Cherry. We didn't? Wait, no. which one? Cherry Lattimore, she did a super chat a few minutes ago. I interrupted you because you skipped over Dark Jade's member. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I thought Cherry didn't want the uh, the air horn. No, no. That was Dark Jade. Ah, okay. Sorry. I'm still salty about never getting more spectacular Spider-Man. Dude, so am I. I'm so mad. So mad about it still to this day. Just especially after finding out how much more they had planned for the series. Holy shit. It was so painful. They had like the whole nine yards set up to be like, oh yeah, following Peter all the way into college, all the way into like graduating and getting married to Mary Jane, like at the end of the series. Oh god, it was so good. I've got the I've got this the the two seasons on DVD. Like I have like one of the only copies that were like in fucking released in Australia. Fair enough. And to know that um, they cancelled it for freaking Ultimate Spider-Man, just goddamn mm. rage. Favorite musical episode of a TV series? I don't, I don't know. I'm the, not really uh, a big fan of musical the episodes of TV one. series. The Scrubs Oh yeah, that, that's fair. That's good. Yeah, the Scrubs one. I'll take okay. that. How long till the end of the stream? We've got 15 minutes left, guys. So you know what? I'm gonna, uh, yeah. I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna put up our member shout out. Oh shit. 
Super chat from hey. Jenna. Yeah. Do the sound. Thank you, Jenna. Freaking yeah, with the super you. chat. Much love. Thank you. Um, just a quick shout out here. Weaver says her most underrated film is Riddick. And I actually agree pretty hard. Riddick is very underrated. Yeah. That's the third one in this series, by the way. Oh. Oh, there was yeah. a third one. Yeah. Oh, okay. The, the third one is definitely better than the second, for sure. Mm. And very different to the first. It almost feels like they definitely tried to incorporate more elements from both of the first two movies into the third one. But I really yeah. liked it. All right, look, last fi- last fifteen minutes, so I'm gonna mm. put up our our member shout out. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, Members. check out this fanciness. Hold on, let me just see, Are guess. there any movies that you want to avoid and not watch for any reasons? As in, uh, it's not about liked or not liked. Basically, we're gonna do female oriented movies, female led movies. The only thing I can think of that wouldn't qualify that is female led is Promising Young Woman. Just because yeah. Promising Young Woman is way too heavy. We're not doing that. Most shit that is just like super heavy, we're probably not going to do. <laughs> yeah, some stuff depends, but yeah, not that one unfortunately. Yeah. Um Yeah. Uh, oh, hold on. Pull that back up. Sorry, I got a lot of the recommender of list is on our Discord. Yeah, that's on our Discord. So I'll yeah. put that up in our socials next time, so you guys know. But yeah, just got movie buds on Discord, and the uh, invite for it should be for anyone. Mushishi is a really chill anime. I've got that on my list, actually, my personal one. Just dropping right to say you guys are great. Really enjoy your thoughtful commentary. Oh, thanks, Spencer. Spencer Reed. <laughs> Spencer Ray, fucking yeah. criminal minds. Yeah, criminal minds. Yeah, I, I see. <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Noise. Yeah, um, my sister's a huge criminal minds fan. Just huge. Candy, <laughs> Candy said they don't need us anymore. Oh man, we still, <laughs> we still appreciate you. Oh shit, I made a mistake there. Damn. Oh well. Love you guys. Greeting from Venezuela. Well, hey, what's up? Enjoy your channel. Have you guys done 13 going on 30? No, not yet, but we will. No, yeah, we will do 13 going on 30. I have questions. Yeah. I usually watch more Asian content and shows, so I hate Netflix when they do one season of a K drama and leave it on a cliffhanger. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, quite related to. Oh, and just now. quickly, uh, Florence Day is here saying she really liked, or they, because I don't know, uh, really like Chronicles of Riddick. Um, yeah, I did too. I'm not saying Chronicles of Rick was bad. I'm just saying that the third movie was underrated. Yeah. Like, we, I enjoyed all three of them a lot. We got a super chat from AL. Marie, uh-huh. thank you. <laughs> yeah. hey. Thanks, dude. Um, oh, yeah. Tell all your friends. Yeah, your been friends and family. Tell you. the local dogs. <laughs> Especially when you guys <laughs> pointed out any friends' bullshit from yeah, the. Uh, and Devil the boyfriend, Prada, yeah, and enough. his friends and boyfriend from the Devil Was Prada. Yeah, um, the one of one of the friends, the one of the dudes was okay, but then the other two friends were a little judgy. Not terrible, just kind of like, ah, uh, dude, pull it back a bit. Yeah, just, and then the boyfriend just sucked. Yeah, the boyfriend was terrible. So unsupportive, man. Also, Weaver, it's fine. If, it's fine if you swear. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, we we swear all the time. What you talking we, about? We swear way too much to judge anybody for swearing. <laughs> I don't even pay attention to when I'm swearing. It's more just like weird, inappropriate stuff that's not cool. <laughs> mm. yeah. You know the amount of times people are like, you shouldn't swear. I'm like, when did I fucking swear? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Also, I'm just like, well, where, where Aussie, dude? Like, yeah. that's just part of our culture. And Soapy Turtles, how heavy is too heavy? It's yeah. not about whether it's inappropriate or not. It's just like, dude, are we going to make jokes about people being like raped and murdered and shit? Yeah. Just think about it like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have talking. we watched Avatar? The oh, have we watched Avatar? <laughs> have we watched Avatar? The Last Airbender. Classic. My Some God. people haven't. Some <laughs> people haven't. You know? so that's that's insane. But yeah, peep. There are technically people who haven't seen Avatar. Yeah, that's um, you know, and they're wrong. They're just, definitely they're just, wrong. They're just wrong. <laughs> definitely wrong. Let's all get it straight. Avatar is a thing that everyone should have seen already. Yes. Either not core though. Things. Yeah, Cora, yeah. Sorry, um, Arai. <laughs> I know Dark Saints is good, but I haven't really seen it, no. Oh my god, I just started rewatching Trailer Park Boys with Maria last night. Mm. Trailer Park Boys <laughs> is so funny. Crap. Like, it's messed up, but it's so funny. <coughs> Damn it. <sighs> Shout out to Canada for making Trailer Park Boys. 
Oh, fair enough. Oh, I, I have seen Boondock Saints. I really like that movie. I know that unfortunately it's a fucking, it's a, it's like an Edge Lord movie, which sucks. Boondock Saints. No, 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 dude, not the movie. Oh, actually, hang on. That's a good question. Are you talking about? Oh, I'm thinking of the Boondocks, the anime. Oh, anime. I really talk about the movie Boondock Saints. My yeah, bad. Boondock Saints, yeah. Boondock Saints, yeah. I really actually want to watch the Boondocks because I remember mm. seeing like some episodes when I was younger. But uh, yeah, the um, Boondock Saints love it as a movie. Hate the culture that surrounds it. Gotcha. You know, um, just quickly, Pete Sherlock. We will not be releasing uncut versions of our reactions. Nah. They're edited for a reason. Yeah. Please don't die, Steph. Yeah, I'll try. Uh, super yeah, chat from Christine. Die. One la- last one for the road. Thank you, Christine. Super chat from IL. No one. Avatar movie. Um. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the stupid chat. And yes, that's so. That's fucking one hundred. Fucking. Um. You're the Avatar. Like, why? Why did you pronounce it weird? Oh, the 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 Avatar. The no, the Avatar. Like avocado. <laughs> yeah, the ov- the avocado. <laughs> Speaking of which, there's an actual character called Avocado who's sick in Final Space. Oh, it's first season. Oh, yeah. You know. And to <laughs> yeah. be fair, it's not his character that sucks in the second season. It's just the writing overall. It's, yeah, nothing. Oh. And by the way, season three, yeah. they, they realized how bad season two was. Oh, okay. They, they know. Look, maybe, maybe I'll go back and rewatch it. Because I know it got cancelled. Um, oh, did it? Yeah. I'm not surprised. Yeah. The season two was fucking atrocious. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, uh, that's 100. I absolutely hated it. Yeah, I got eight minutes of interview time left. Uh, yeah, no worries, Pete. I know a lot of people do put uncut reactions on their Patreons and stuff, but A, we don't have a Patreon. We're not really planning on having one. Yeah. And B, yeah, like the, there's just so many things that will be making a point and we won't say it well enough. And we're like, oh, we got to cut this because we know people will misunderstand what we're saying. Yeah. And even though that still happens anyway, we try to cut out the ones that are definitely going to cause yep. misunderstandings and anything that we think has to be in the video, but might cause misunderstandings. Anyway, I've been trying to write up legacy titles recently. Just like, I know I didn't say this clearly enough or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit bullshit. Oh, that's right. Shahid is talking about how do you supposed to pronounce it's not Ang, it's Ang. It's Ang. I mean, Aang. I mean, shit, I don't know. Maybe in other, maybe in other countries they pronounce it like differently to that, but how they pronounce it in the show is Ang. And if you're making this show for like a primarily English speaking audience, hmm. just say it like that. <laughs> There's exactly. no reason to change it. Yeah. Would you guys ever consider doing show reactions? That will be a second or fucking fourth yeah. channel realistically. But we do want to do TV show reactions at a certain point, just not on this show. Yeah. Soka. Soka. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Soka. Soka. Jesus Christ. Katura. <laughs> <laughs> It was so the weird, man. The straight, the straight talking vegetarian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sucker, the funny meat guy. Sucker, the straight talking vegetarian. God damn it, Weaver. That's oh, a lot of fuck. money. Oh my god. I was going to say, I saw your previous comment being like, you ready for one last big super chat? And I'm like, dude, that is so much money. Please. Like, we appreciate the support so much. It's but really we've sweet. About this era. But- Stop, don't go broke for us. And don't oh. encourage other people to go broke for us. Too. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Eero. Yeah, Terriana. Terriana's fine. One last air horn for, for Weaver. <laughs> Freaking deserve that one. And you know what? An applause for good measure, because that's there you go. that was a fuckload. Alright, I'm going to head out. Love you guys. Alright, see you later, Ben. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be done in like six minutes. Yeah, this stream is literally just going to cut off at a certain Yeah. Point. We'll probably so, end it. I'll we'll probably end it out in about three minutes. Just going to give you let it, let, it, let it just cut just out. Let it cut out. We'll just let you just just cut out mid sentence. We'll we'll fucking do a Sopranos on you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll still. Manny be Cruz, how did I get? I don't know Manny. How did you get here? That's yeah. a good question. Oh my goodness, That's so funny. Um, okay, but to to be clear, yeah, we are at the end here. So there's, yeah. you know, um, nothing to say there. By the way, it's just just quickly before we end the stream, I am sorry about the she's the man thing. That was mostly on me. We will revisit it at a certain point later on down the line but just right now i kind of fucked it up so yeah. sorry that's my bad 
All right, super chat, 125 from I.L. Murray. I'll have to check the Soka. version on that. Soka! <laughs> Soka! <laughs> one more one. one. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> the pods, everyone, shut up and take my money. <laughs> I mean, obviously, we love it. We we love we love to be appreciated and supported. Yeah, no, you know? we we appreciate all you guys like so damn much. And yeah. literally, I just really want to emphasize the the fact that any of you guys just click our shit and watch it. That is awesome. That is sick. Yeah, I love sure. that so much, and that's why I'm always trying to say like, you, we're not you're not obligated to like throw us more cash. You've mm. already like done so much just by watching our sh our stuff. Yeah, that's literally awesome. just watching the video, especially if you actually do watch the videos all to the way all the way to the end. It's like yeah. that's where it's at. Yeah. They made Roku a dragon. They did. <laughs> they did. In, uh, oh yeah. They made him. They just made him a dragon. I mean, him and his dragon were just one character for, one, I mean, for some reason. I could kind of get that. I could yeah. sort of get that. It's like you know, like their spirits are intertwined. You know, something something along those lines. But just nah. Yeah. No, oh, they they could have done something similar, but they fucked it up. So Julian the Phantoms. I've heard of that one. And yeah, honestly, I was gonna tell you about it. It's probably a good pick it. for yeah. It's probably a good pick well, for our no. TV channel. Yeah, when we do a TV channel, which again is more of a personal project. So essentially, we'll do the TV channel when we can afford to. Yeah, you know what I mean, All the right. next few choices for the next few months are gonna be us trying to maintain this as a business, so yeah. that we can keep making more. So essentially. yeah, Bill's got to come first. All right, mm -hmm. Weaver's out. Catch you later. Love you too. Yeah. Yeah, and we're at the end here, so yeah. much appreciated, everyone, for all the love, all the super chats, all our new members. Oh, yeah. Of course, anytime anyone wants to join up as a member, it's only $2. We keep it that way on purpose so that yeah. hopefully no one's breaking the bank. It's just a nice little way to yeah. show love and support the channel. We appreciate every single one of you. Yeah, much appreciated, guys, so much. Yeah. Okay, we got like three minutes left. Any last yeah. thing you want to say? Any last comments? Rock Jade gets in one last super chat. Super oh. sticker. Oh, shit. Oh, you're, so you're getting them earlier than me. Thank you, Apparently. Dark Jade. <laughs> Wait, sorry? Someone's asking about, about Bridesmaids. We already did it. Yeah, we did it, man. It's, uh, you probably might not have noticed it, though, because it's fucking... Um, uh, demonetized. It's demonetized. Uh, mm, for offensive content. Yeah. Which is weird, because I swear we... It's not any different to others. We even tried editing it down. <laughs> Yeah, though, I swear. Yeah, there were similar things in other videos we've done. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah, whatever. And our Pitch Perfect videos aren't making any money anymore either. Because no. fucking Universal. Because Universal's a bastard. Same with uh, Bring It On. <laughs> so that's fine. yeah. Any anything Universal, like we're probably not doing in the future. Yeah, we're really just not going to touch it because apparently that has just been a thing that we're doing. Disney, weirdly enough, has been totally, totally cool, cool though. We've been, we've been doing all that shit on Disney Plus yeah. and no problems. Yeah. It is, uh, it's been interesting, yeah. but yeah, for the moment, obviously we're sticking with Disney because of the group watch function. So if it's not on Disney plus for the next few videos, we're going to have oh, a problem. Super chat from Linda. Linda. Thank, Thank you, you, Linda. Linda. Okay. Oh, wrong one. That's what you get. Cause it wasn't enough money. <laughs> No. <laughs> you get the air horn. <laughs> Poop jokes are offensive. Yeah, that is literally the only thing that I can think. No, that it's is literally the only thing I can think in it. It's that it's it's that. It's the sex scenes. That's why the sex scenes in other ones we've done. Yeah, but we included a lot more. Uh, fair. Or I did. Whatever. Yeah. All right, last last minute, guys. I'm probably gonna keep, probably just gonna cut it here before yeah. um before Sam gets cut out. All right, so. Thanks so much for joining in. Thanks so much for all the love. But, uh, yeah, until next time. Yeah, you've been with Sam. Steph, and we're the, we're movie, the movie buds. buds.